Well, you know what this here means, don't you? Yep, you got it right. We got a critter back in the backyard. I came in approximately about 3 or 4 this morning. Uh, I, I don't know exactly what it is. I'm, I'm, I will find out, and I guess the, it's making these weird noises like a ba. <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, I'm waiting for the other part of my camera crew to get here so that she can videotape from the start to the end of, of this release. Uh, and we've been fortunate that I haven't been sprayed out of five skunks, and I've caught five, five possums with babies. I, if you look in that picture that I put on the internet, the, you can see the babies in their pouch. Uh, one black squirrel. One squirrel had one little white speck on his head, and a woodchuck. Groundhog, this is the alias name, uh, and, and the, what we got today, I do not know what it is, but we're going to find out here shortly, so I'm going to get this here Critter Ritter mobile up and uh, and ready, and we'll catch you in the field. Get, getting ready to go, this is us, I got my camera crew here with me, and we're going to go out there and see just what I got, this just in case of this gun. Hopefully it's not a skunk though, because we're uh, hoping not to get sprayed. I did see that black cat that I caught. Uh, he ran behind, so I know I didn't catch him. Oh, good. I like that little cat. It keeps the mice out of the yard. <laughs> uh, see, there's the garden, but. These critters keep getting into you and destroying. That's about dead now. Yeah, in this season. I'm going to leave that half open so that when I swing around, you can see that's what's in there. Oh, oh, it's a running one. Oh, it's what? a raccoon. A raccoon. <gasps> A oh, big yeah. one. What do you have in there? Because it ate the crap out of it. And I had a plastic in front. Yeah, well, it's ate completely up. Oh, my goodness. These raccoons are very, uh, they, they do have a lot of rabies in them. Yeah. They eat a lot of garbage and insects. Oh, his hands come through there. It, they'll go into anything because they, the, them hands. They, they, they can open doors, dressers, uh, a lot of things they can open. Oh, yeah, look at that. It ate the plastic right off. Oh, it knows how to get out, too. It's very smart. Oh, yeah. He's going to be a hard one to get. Look at it. It's scared right now. but uh, You bite? Yep. You bite? They say if these come out in the day or act friendly that they're rabious. Yeah. He's not acting too friendly, so I'm sure he's safe to release back into the wild. <laughs> he knows right where you're at, too. I can't believe how many different creatures I'm getting here. I know it. Just in this small little area. Well, this, they, they make a ba sound, is what I've been told. So, well, at least we know what that is it's in the future. The, uh, look at her. She oh. put her hands all the way out. She wants oh, wow. out. And I want her out. But it, what's going to be hard is that... To unlock that door is right down there. Exactly. I have to get her way to the back, or him to the back, and maybe pick it up and, and get the door open, and then put it down. Uh, man, you just never know what you're gonna get in the city of Grand Haven. I hope they uh, they like their little ride. I know. It is pretty big. Definitely an adult. Isn't that something? Whoa! Whoa!
It's watching you. Be careful. Yeah. Alright, we're going to take him to his destination. You take a couple of pictures of him first. Get up close. It's okay. So, yeah, it's kind of freaked out a little bit. It wants to be let go. So we're going to find a safe environment for it and give it a good release away from here, away from the busy road.